And I just started you know, coming up here to the city. And I just went there to pray on that corner and seeing all kinds of craziness going on around me. But I realized something. The Bible says how beautiful the feet, not the seat. And we're talking about we pray and we pray. But if you pray and you never go, did we really pray? You know, when we first started, I ventured to knock on every single door and introducing myself, you know? And I think the people, that means something to them, that the pastor would come and knock on their door. Um, so I met Pastor Ray and I was drinking a 40 ounce of beer. I had long dreads and um, I had two little young shooters with me. You know, kids that would do exactly what I, whatever I say. No God in my life. A gun was my God. We begin to talk and he was like, yeah, you know, um, I'm, I'm a child of God and so forth. And he can quote in Psalms 23. I pretty much walked away saying this. The next time I see you, I challenge you not to just be quoting Psalms 23, but to be living it. I was like, you know, got a little mad. Like, who, who do you think you are? Like, is you a cop or something? I thought I wasn't gonna never see him again after that. And the next thing that he called me and he came back through and we became friends. And here's a guy you don't see radical transformation, um, but he's not telling me he doesn't want to hear it. I grew up in high rise projects. I used to rap like a gangster, I guess you can call it. My friend was like, yo, you, you're the poetical gangster John Gotti. That's what we're going to call you. People was start to really treat me like my, like I was John Gotti. And the streets made me him. So next thing you know, people was coming up to me like, Gotti, what you want me to do? I said, huh, go rob brick towers. <laughs> and, they, and they would do it. Life in an individual is like a diamond. Maybe somebody took, you know, a, a trash load full of dong and just dumped it on you. Does the value of that diamond, does it lose its value? I don't believe so. But somebody has to be willing to dig through, right, and pull the diamond out. Because that life still has purpose. I can love people only to a certain extent. In my heart is simply, God, give me your heart of love today. He didn't get aggravated with me. Even though I've seen it sometime in his face, like, this boy head is hard. Like, come on. <laughs> Why do you continue to pursue a Rajan Dixon? In this generation, the people from the streets are not coming to the church. We gotta go get them. One of the things I believe that we've given people false hope is, you would leave people, oh, well, Jesus loves you. And that is true, but that doesn't save souls. I want to give people Christ's death, burial, and resurrection. That's the message we need to communicate to this lost and dying world. Now I hear, now I understand the Word of God. Thank God for sound doctrine, healthy doctrine, healthy teaching. So God brought me out of the fire to pull others out of that darkness, you know what I'm saying? So that's my job, that's my duty, that's my purpose. God gave me my life back. My name is Rajan. God, he died. You know what I'm saying? Nailed him to the cross. I'm just not the same. I'm just not the same.